Yo, what's good? Welcome back to another episode, guys. We're in for a good one, so stay tuned. Grab a snack, do whatever you gotta do, and let's get right into this thing. It's your thoughts that could ever cross. We already saw that. Mom, we don't die. So you're you're saying that you just I don't know. I guess you just restart. Or not restart, but your soul goes out to heaven or white space and Same. goes on a long journey, which there are videos for that. Mm -hmm. It can restart a new life, but it's probably not going to be on the same planet, same universe, same megaverse, whatever it's called. It's probably going to be in a completely different location. Space is infinite, completely infinite. And for two lifetimes, to be on the same planet is extremely rare. What if I want to go back to Earth? What if a soul and you wants could. to? Then you could, but it's probably not very likely out of the infinite choices you could choose. Have I had a past life here on Earth before? Probably. For all I know, you could probably be an angel that just started having lives in dark space, or yeah, dark space like not even that long ago. Mm -hmm. Like probably like a billion years um, ago, you could have started. Have you had a life on Earth before? Um, yes. If out of the infinite. Are there different realities that you can live in on um, Earth, like different timelines? Yes, but it wouldn't be the same. I can't really can't comprehend that. And man, I know. <laughs> You're such a nut. Mom, we don't die. So imagine you have one line of infinite, one set of infinite, it's a line, and it, it's infinite in two directions. So you double that and put them together. That makes two infinite, or two sets of infinites, whatever you want to call it. And you take another one, put it together, that's going to make it three sets of infinite. Four sets of infinite, five sets of infinite, and then you take infinite of those and mash them together. Uh -huh. That makes infinite sets of infinite. That's what space is. Wow. Well, now you know. Now we know. So imagine you have one. Okay, this be smart. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if everything he's saying is right, but hey. Here's do we own to something. I'm gonna have to wake up. What is the most dangerous information that you know? Oh boy. They're going to hoax an alien threat. I've been talking about that for a while. Like they're going to hoax an alien invasion. You know, there could be a possibility. Who knows? Do you believe in government conspiracies? Of course oh, you do. Absolutely. No, I'm serious. I no, no, definitely. Do. No. Oh my God. Of course you do. He's Will Smith. He with the people. He with them. God. I know I heard you did. Are you serious now? Oh, yeah, no, I'm very serious. You can't oh, tell, you can't can you? Tell, you can't no. tell, no. Government conspiracy. <laughs> he he oh, didn't know what's going on. They all do. They just be this is one of my compost stations. Check out what's growing. So I noticed this plant growing out of my compost bin, and I decided to leave it and see if it would keep getting bigger. I think it's either a honeydew melon or a gourd seed, that I put into my compost and now it's growing from seed. Notice how it's growing through the holes in the <laughs> compost bin. This reminds me that the life inside us yearns to grow. Even when we're faced with obstacles yep. and we're surrounded by barriers, if we learn lessons and focus, we can persevere and grow through them. Right. This is one of my compost stations. Check out what's growing. Do you remember back when that YouTuber disappeared after teaching people how to open a portal inside of his bedroom by using different sound frequencies? No. Missing YouTuber and his viral video, it's all part of a mystery centered around Sedona, Arizona. Go ahead and play that. So, here 528 tone. Well, so was, wait a minute. Another tone generator, so okay, wait a minute now. This made the news. So is this real? Like, is this actually something that actually went down? I can't trust everything they show on the news, but this is interesting. 525, and I'm about to show you what will happen with that. There we go. 528. And already you can see a... Is this real? Do you remember back when Bro. the YouTuber disappeared? People. Oh, is that real? I don't know if that's real. I'm having a hard time believing that that is real. I know it made it to the news, but who knows? Y'all let me know. So a lot let of people are know. convinced that the government is going to fake an alien invasion. And Check out this video and then I'll explain. I feel like it's going to catch everybody off guard. So 
So what's creepy is that there have been a number of UFO sightings lately. Here comes Project Bluebeam. Uh -oh. Basically, an investigative journalist discovered that the government alongside NASA was going to use a bunch of tools and AI to fake an alien invasion and like a second coming and like scare everyone and then they're going to swoop in, save the day, so everyone is like, oh my god, the government, we should totally trust them. They want to do this to form like one unity, like one government. They want absolute control of everyone. What do you guys think though? In the yeah, that's the goal. On this in my next that is the goal you know yeah because they they figure okay we can fool them with this now we we have more control now they have to hope for like come on man y'all don't fall for that bull crap please this is crazy like some people are really not woke to this day like do you see all the stuff being exposed and people still don't know about stuff like this it's crazy but hey some people just came down here to have a good time that's how I look at it. A lot of people are convinced that the government is... Wherever salt goes, water follows. Mm -hmm. If I throw salt on a slug, what happens to the slug? All the water comes out the slug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you want your cell to be able to absorb the water that you drink, you need to take a little bit of salt mm -hmm. before you drink the water. Or even put a little bit of salt in the water. So say I'm drinking, say I got the Mountain Valley spring water. Mm -hmm. So you saying take a little salt, put it on my tongue before I drink the yep. water? Wherever salt goes, <laughs> water follows. Get up, I shower, I come to work, I work all day, I go home, I go to sleep. I get up, I shower, I come to work, I work all day, I go home, I go to sleep. I get up, I shower, I come to work. I get up, I shower, I come to work, I work all day, I go home, I go to sleep. That is literally a lot of people's life. Gotta find a way to get out of that. I have to. I don't care what you do, man. Like, you have to get on the camera and just talk about you, how you don't like your job. Something. You gotta do something. Come on, man. 2024, it's about to be 2025, man. We is in. That's crazy. We're supposed to be in a futuristic world right now, right? Why are we working? Okay, family. Concept is the ground or grass is my chair. What the is this? Ground is me really grounding, and I cover myself up in this. Now, your hole does not have to be this deep. <laughs> I'm extra. But as instructed by my higher self, while I'm sitting under this, I'm supposed to put my feet in here connect directly now i did it for the first day yesterday and hey, he ain't playing around really well felt really good he really trying to get after that i even I like. went to play basketball with the barefoot sho shoes on that i have and it felt better than playing with my regular shoes i'm gonna let that sit with y'all fast it on cistern rub cistern on my joints and my ankles the night before did this the next day and i felt charged up to play for like three hours with my sons so and there's a bunch of people that was there. But it really works. Try it. I know it's different. But we need to learn the things that we don't know. Not relearn the things that we do. All right? We need to get back to our old ancient knowledge. And for individuals that are being poisoned by the air and the food, they need to do something a little bit extra to charge their batteries. The earth says she wants to connect with her people. So one of her people... It's going to show you how I connect. Go hug a tree, too. All right? Have you done this yet? How often do you ground? Leave a comment below. Okay, family. Oh, do I ground? Okay. You know what I'm saying? I try to do that a lot, you know? How many, how many times do y'all ground? Let me, let me know. Some people don't be having time to do that to ground. That's sad. Can't even go sit with Earth. That's because you got all these... Distractions really, but when you do get a chance, make sure you ground now. It's always good to connect with the earth. Mm. 
Earthquake kick, zombie kick, tsunami kick, sinkhole kick. That's crazy. Imagine, imagine a sinkhole just just happening right where you live at, right in your house. Like that's crazy. Your house just sink into a sinkhole. That is just devastating right there. Mm. Launching the asteroid that killed all the dinosaurs. For historical accuracy, the target is Mexico. Let's see what happens. Instant oblivion. Many dinos roaming the Earth. Imagine being on Earth seeing this tsunami of lava approaching you. What would you do? Asia survived the initial wave. So it looks like the fate of humanity is in the hands of the Asians. Hmm. All right. Let's speed it up and come back to see what the Earth looks like after this collision. Whoa, looks like we recreated the supercontinent Pangaea. Very cool. Comment down below what collision I should do next. Hey, waking up can get really lonely. When you wake up, True. it's a beautiful thing and it you want to tell the world about it. You want to tell everybody why McDonald's is bad for you. You also want to tell them how the government is screwing them over. How the school system is fake. How our history is his story. You want to wake everyone around you up, but you get this in return. You get outcasted and told that you're annoying and you need to shut up. So it kind of makes you feel ashamed of yourself and really lonely. There's no one around you to understand. You can't even express how you feel because they're not even going to take it serious. I want to let you know you're not alone. It's a lot of people in this world who is on a spiritual journey just like you. And it's important that we come together as a community so we can help each other grow and give each other pointers in the areas that we may need help. I partnered up with my guy Dev. We built an online community where me and him will be teaching y'all everything you need to know on a spiritual journey. Also a place where we can bring y'all together. We've seen the power of bringing the community together. Now it's time we do it. DM me the word change and join the community. Hey, waking up can get really- No, that is real though. Some people, they don't really want to be hearing that, man. You know? They love their Burger King. They love their McDonald's. They, like, lead them along. You know, sometimes you just gotta just find the people that, you know, you can relate with. There's a reality where possibly <laughs> maybe this world didn't even occur. Maybe there's a reality where a universe instantly started and then destroyed itself. There's an infinite number of possibilities. But Which however... Is such an incredible thing to try to wrap your hand or head around it, right? It's almost impossible. Yeah, there's... See, just the word infinity is almost impossible to right. really and completely then understand. Then again, there are higher levels that of infinity, true. as you'll see in videos. Higher and... levels. That is deep. Yeah. Infinity, infinity is not Infinity, just... like, how do you, like... You can't see infinity. Like, that's, like... Wow. That's crazy. Like, that's a lot. Like, that's endless, like... That's, you're basically God at that point. Infinity. There's oh, yeah. variations there's on that theme. Higher levels in infinity. There's smaller infinities, bigger, larger infinities. There is. It's hard to wrap your mind around that there is something larger than everything. Mm. Which is how it's, you. It's right. even a paradox as itself. It's an oxymoronic phrase. Um, and that's where you come back to God. Well, God could be God of the universe or the multiverse, but then there must be another multiverse of multiverses and multiverse where. There's a universe where there is another more powerful or less powerful or equal God as we defined it in e equals MC squared. There's a reality where yeah. this stuff possibly... really get deep though when you really look at it like that, on the spiritual level like that. You look for, at it at, like from the third eye. To this stuff really get deep. Like who knows? Like what if we in a video game right now? You know, like that's even crazy. Like you you wouldn't even know. You know. Crazy. Reality where I'm 30 and I still live at home with my parents. I'm 30 and I live in an RV full time. And this is my bedroom. I'll give you a quick little tour before I explain. Here's my bedroom. Used to have a king size bed. Went down to a queen. Cut down the board so that I can do this. I have a washer and dryer behind the. Wait store. a minute and now, lady. me down this creepy hallway. Wait a you'll... minute. She's in an RV. Wow, that gotta be a expensive RV. Yep, he right. That comment is right. That gotta be a expensive RV. She got a whole room in there. We'll go to my bathroom. It's not clean. In the bathroom, anyways. 
Hello, welcome. And wow. Here is the sink area. Where the kitchen My at? faux plants. My skylight. The toilet. And wow. the shower. A wow. lot of people think that I don't bathe when they find out that I live in an RV, but I do. Are you ready for another creepy room? Yep. We just came out of this hallway and here we are in my living room. What? I have a 65 inch TV in the RV. fireplace. Some lounge couches and another leather sofa. There's she my front door home. and there's oh. my back door. Well, technically that's my bedroom door, but the back door is behind that bedroom door. I'll show you later. Here we are in the kitchen. This right here is where I dine and this right here is where I feast. If you come over here, you can see she where I get the dishes, kitchen, my now. mini dishwasher, my fridge. And over here is my mini pantry. I also have two mm. ovens, one right there. It's a convection oven. And then this is my actual oven with Dang. my four burner stove. See, there's a door behind Oh, me. nah. She living it up, man. It's cost of living is insane. That's See? why I live in an RV full time. I'm hey, I agree. I truly agree. We need to start getting us some RVs, man. For real, that, that's dope. How many would y'all be honest? Was you living in an RV like that? To be honest, why not? You know, you ain't got to worry about hills and all. You could save a lot of money doing that, you know? I would, you know, do it for like a couple of years. Think about it. I don't know. I would do it. Honestly, I would do it. Why was the genius scientist Nikola Tesla so obsessed with the numbers 3, 6, and 9? He once said, if you only knew the magnificence of 3, 6, and 9, then you would have a key to the universe. To understand this, we need to recognize that humans did not create mathematics. It is what we discovered, as it serves as the law of operation of the universe, the language of the universe. Here's what Tesla discovered. When doubling one, we get two. Doubling two yields four. Doubling four gives us eight. Then, doubling eight results in 16. The total of 16 is seven when summed. Doubling seven leads to 14, and total of 14 sums up to five. Then doubling five is 10, which reduces to one when added. This pattern continues endlessly without the appearance of the numbers three, six, or nine. Interestingly, when doubling three, we get six. And when doubling six, we arrive at 12, whose sum is again three. three. These two numbers complement each other. Only nine is the highest independent number. Tesla said that these three numbers exist in a higher dimension that controls the three-dimensional world we live in. If three and six are yin and yang, then nine is a higher entity that governs this world. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if nine is the highest number, wouldn't that just be nine universes? Or does you think, do you think it just go, keep going? Twelve universe, like, what if nine is just like the last universe? I don't know. Cause there's so many universes and multiverses and stuff, so it could be wrong. But that's just a thought. Uh, Why was the genius? But nine is the highest number. If you didn't know that, huh? then nine is the highest number. There's no number higher than nine. It's just you just adding like if you want to go twelve, a hundred, you just adding the numbers up. That's all you're doing. So nine is the highest number. If you didn't know that, so hit one with nine. You get 19, you just added the numbers together. That's all it is, you know. But it, at the end of the day, it's no number higher than I. That tripped me out, though, when I, at first I didn't understand it, but now I do. Why was the genius scientist Nicholas? I promise you, if you ever want to slit your wrist and kill yourself and all that good stuff, um, just go outside in, in, the, in the wild. Like, look, play some basketball, go swimming, go work out, go do something. I know it probably feels like it's the end of the world. You have no family, you have no one to talk to, but I promise life is worth living when you find a purpose. There's times where I don't want to be here. Most of the time I don't want to fucking be here, but hey, we're here, you know? So get your ass up, go to the gym, drink some water, tell yourself some affirmations in the fucking mirror. Remember you're the shit. Don't let nobody take you off your pedestal, not even yourself, okay? God's got you, you got yourself. Get the fuck up, go to the gym. Stop being a big baby. I promise you, if you ever want to slit your yeah, life is precious to just, you know, just just end, end it all, you know? It's just so precious, man. You gotta, you know, you gotta enjoy all of it. All the bad times, all the good times, you gotta enjoy it. For, you, you will get through it. You will. Wait. 
If the voice in your head is you, then who's the one listening? Shit. So my friend John's reaction at the end there is completely justified. The whole point of this question is to break the mind's conditioning and force it to do something that it's really not used to doing, which is asking, who am I? The question starts off with, if the voice in your head is you, which is a fair assumption for anyone to make, but it's not entirely accurate. This would be like saying, I am my face or I am my name. These are just parts of our experience which are subject to change at any time. Your face can change as you grow, your name can change as you get married. At the end of the day, these are not permanent parts of our existence. If we wanted to pin down an answer for who am I, we have to search for something that's always present and unchanging throughout our lifetime. The answer to this one is actually in the question itself, with the next part being, who's the one listening? See, the only permanent part of our being is actually awareness itself. This awareness is the only constant while everything else is changing. For example, your body changes all the time, uh, every single day, but your awareness of it is always the same. The only times we feel like our awareness has changed is when we choose to identify and grasp onto these changing elements, like our thoughts and feelings. But the second we let them go, we go right back to our natural state of awareness. So there it is, the question is answered. You are not the voice in your head. You are the one listening. Wait. That is true though. You are the one that's listening. It's deep though, like, dang. That's really deep. The future is always changing based on what you decide to do every day. Think of it like this. Whatever you choose to do with your time today, it's like you're either giving yourself a gift tomorrow or stealing from yourself tomorrow. For example, what did you do yesterday? Uh, me? I skipped my shift of window washing. So because you didn't work yesterday, you have no money to spend today. That's how you steal from your future self. But if you had worked yesterday, you'd have some cash. And who we are today is an accumulation of all our yesterdays. Wow. Accumulation is a fancy word for lots of things all added That's up. That's crazy how something in the past can be affecting you today. That That is kind of crazy. Like that happened y yesterdays, years ago, you know? Even though we know years ago, but yesterdays. <laughs> it's crazy. Point is, it's better to work today to give yourself a gift tomorrow. The future is always changing. I agree. I agree. Oh, that was it? Hold on. Spare a little of your imagination as you watch this film as it runs. You will see many things that answer many questions. You will see living forms, living amoeba, almost animal-like creatures. You will see continents being formed, the Earth itself coming into existence. You can see all this and watch it before your eyes. Everything owes its existence solely and completely to sound. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. We are told that this is how the worlds began and how creation took shape. If we put that into the modern idiom and say that into the great voids of space came a sound and matter took shape. Spare a little of your imagination as you watch this film as it runs. What is love in physics? Love is the longing of particles to each other after they have been separated for billions of years. We fall in love here on Earth because the atoms of our bodies recognize each other from the time that they were within the same star in a faraway place called the cosmos. The story of their love is sad but hopeful as their starry home exploded, throwing them far away from each other, traveling for billions of light years in the dark and lonely meadows of the universe. I'm not gonna lie, they be throwing me off with the light years. Like they be saying the sun is light years away. That sun is right there, man. Just like what he talking about, everything is right there, you know? I don't be thinking it's billions of years. Nah, skip all that. That's how they trick Towards us. Towards the end of their journey, they end up making us with minds and hearts that are able to love so they could be together again closer than they okay. have ever Make sense. been before. Right now. What is love sense in right there, physics? Your body is a prison. The real matrix is your consciousness being stuck in third dimensional awareness, the physical body. Every religion teaches that this world is the false world and there is a heaven or another base reality. But heaven is not what you think. 
You're made out of cells, a prison cell, and your rib cage is a cage. This is why the Bible says, do not love this world nor the things it offers you. Your mind operates outside of this physical plane without time, space and matter and no limitations. Material addiction and emotions is what ties you to the physical plane. Sin means sign, which is time, the sine wave of time. Negative emotions such as hate, fear and jealousy only exist in a world of time. Therefore, love, contentment and joy can exist without time. Therefore, your emotions is what takes you away from God, which is your higher self, your higher mind, your pure consciousness, which exists outside of this physical body. This is why you call it my body. This is mine. It's a possession. It's not you. You are the I, the I am. There is another plane beyond the physical plane called the astral plane and this is where the realm of imagination or spirits are and you can enter this through astral projection. Heaven is the higher astral realms where your mind can operate without limitation. Your body is a prison. This is what time is, alright? That is time. This is past, right? This is future. That's what they tell you. What they don't want to tell you is that this is you, and time is this, and you are the center of it. There's no such thing as day, night, week. They made those to try to understand time, right? Because if you never went to sleep, there would be just no day, oh, that happened yesterday, because you just keep going. I'm yeah, 16 right now. Give me 16 more years, I'll be able to write a Bible. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm so serious. I'm so serious right now. Give me 16 more years, I'll be able to write a Bible. And if I wanted to, I could lead billions of people into deceit the same way they did. They put their philosophies on the paper. They put how they overstood things on the paper. King James did not write the Bible. He took a compilation of a bunch of stories and put it into one. And those stories were not their, the original stories. The ones of the compilation were uh, stories from Egypt. This is what time is. All right? That is true, though. We in the present. Like, think about it. Like, you could be thinking about something that happened, like, years ago. And then you can be thinking about the future, like, time is just a illusion for real, like, that's just what it is, you know? So, like, if we, if time was really real, we shouldn't be able to jump to, to the past like that, you know? But that goes to show that time is a illusion. Yo, Project Bluebeam is happening. I don't, I don't know, what, what is that? Now, what is Project Bluebeam? Basically, this guy, Serge, discovered that NASA and the government are up to something called Project Bluebeam. Basically, they are going to fake an alien invasion using AI and holograms. And then they're gonna fake a whole alien invasion to scare us and the government's gonna sweep in and save the day so that everyone gets faith back in the government. They hope that it will restore order and everyone will be compliant as the government saves the day. Everything is getting super weird and just be careful because they might stage an alien invasion with destruction. Check me out on YouTube for more information, link in bio. Y'all- What's wrong? What? You don't like me and I don't blame you. You see a self-defeating, energy-sucking piece of shit who's sponging off your husband. You're wishing I'd blow my brains out, but my existence shouldn't make you this upset. What is it? That's none of your business. Something wrong in law school? How do you know I'm in law school? People who aren't usually don't carry around dry, academically constipated books about a dead Supreme Court justice. You're a creep, aren't you? You've been, you've been following me. No, I just noticed the book. You just saw the corner of it. How did you know that? I'd seen it before, 12 years ago in college. Sitting on the couch of a TA I was trying to make, waiting for her to come back out of the bathroom, hoping she'd have a condom. Somehow my unconscious had served that up. A memory I'd never even recorded. This is a movie, so I'm gonna skip that. If you can buy 30k for a car, you can pay 30k for me. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit. A bullshit. <laughs> if you can. Oh my! Wow! I don't know who edited that in, but that was funny. That was a good one. That was... <laughs> buy 30k for a car, you can pay 30k for me. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit. Hey. Real talk. Real if you talk. Can buy I feel that. 
<laughs> Tonight, several people shot inside a Walmart. Porter Jr. Porter Jr. <laughs> Tonight, several people shot inside a Walmart. Porter Jr. Porter Jr. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, that is funny. Tonight, several people shot in Walmart. Dang. Shouldn't have been messing with dude, nah. You make me want to go to this water park. I want to pull up at the park. Oh, I know what to do. I really want to go to this water park with you, baby. Oh, baby, you want to go to the water park. I'm trying to slide down this bitch. Oh, I know what to do. I really want to go to this water park. You make me kind of fun. Because I'm so good at transcending and I love hanging out up there with my extraterrestrial friends and my spirit guides, it actually turned into a form of escapism. <laughs> and I didn't want to root here down into this planet Gaia because it was painful. I remember those days. Of course. Yeah. I know you do. We've talked about it on my show. Yeah. And to know that you can transcend and get out of here versus like go deep and know your own imminence, which is the human experience, yes. which is holy. Yes. It was a complete reframe for me to see that Gaia, of all the billions and trillions of planets that are in this universe, Gaia is a place to be. It has every single stage of consciousness, yeah. all the way from the animalistic human, yes. all yeah. up to avatar consciousness and people who are absolutely integrated into the one. It's all here. It's all here. The whole, this playground has everything. Everything. You know, and you can get distracted. Mm -hmm. You can get lost. You can become a victim to you it. You can become a victim. You can look into the mirror. You know those crazy mirrors that you see in the yeah. music parts? And you think that's reality. Right. You know, you get distorted reality. And you can even fight for your distortion. You wake up, you remember, you wake up and you remember. And the thing about not being a victim, as you're describing here, is we all chose to be here. Yes, we did. We chose to be. We didn't like, oops, yep. somebody pushed me. Nope. <laughs> nope. This is no coincidence. <laughs> right. This is an assignment. Yeah. Yeah. You, and we took it on. And we took it on. Yeah. And it's such an important and exciting, necessary, critical time yeah. to be alive. Because I'm so good at you. Gotta it, you gotta enjoy it, man. I gotta enjoy all of it. I agree. So you mean to tell me you got you got you got juke by a car. Watch this. Look at that. How you get crossed over by a car? That is crazy. I don't know who driving, but he can drive. That's all I gotta say. He, did y'all see that? Let's rerun that, man. That is crazy. Watch this. Huh. Hit him with the crossover of, of the D Rose crossover. Stop playing with him, man. One more time. One more time. Because that was crazy. Just all right. You wanna play them games? Huh. Let me get gone. Now that's crazy. He need to, that cop needs to get fired. For real, he need to get fired after that. Alright, see ya. Love ya. Love ya, we'll talk more. Alright. Drive safe. Yep. Job for idiots. Parents are always worried if you ride because there's a lot of dumb drivers out there. Yeah. And well, she definitely wasn't out wrong. Oh. What happened? I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god, Jacob. Fuck me. What? Come on. Fuck. It's his, so his sorry, mom. Oh god damn it, mom. I need hey. to. <laughs> Wait, what? I can't see you. Oh my god. So his All mom. Right, love you. Love you. We'll talk. His mom gonna say, watch out for idiots. And she's the one that. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Say the weird thing. Why nobody know how to make water? We know how to make fire. We know how to make rocks. We know how to make lightning and electricity. We know the damn water cycle. But can't nobody make me no water. We even know what make water. Hydrogen, two of those, and oxygen. And we got both. But can't nobody cook me no water. Either that or y'all just not sharing. Why y'all hogging the water? Say the weird thing. Why nobody know how to make water? We know how to make fire. How do you make water? We know how to make fire. <laughs> Wait, he throw me off right now. I'm not gonna lie. Check that out. What's the name of this song?
hard Christian rap music. Fast spirit. I'm gonna have to check that out. Brown eyed people are inherently connected to either one or both of the elements that I'm gonna name um, right now. So it's an earth connection and it's a fire element connection. If you have brown eyes, you may have one or both of these connections that are very ingrained with who you are, both at soul level, but most specifically in this incarnation. So your soul of all the different menu options available to it chose for you to have a connection to earth or fire or both of these elements in your current um, incarnation if you have brown eyes. What does it mean? The fire element connection has always to do with life force, right? So um, your higher self had plans for you to be quite active. People with brown color are meant to be quite active. Now, they may be active in different ways, right? So there's usually a calling to be quite active for you in one or multiple areas of your life. Usually the people with the brown eyes have the more most resource compared to other eye colors. They have the easiest mm -hmm. time replenishing their resource. They have the easiest time accumulating resource, like accumulating okay. energy. So the brown color is very absorbent. It is very, uh, you know, it absorbs the energy, by the way, very interestingly. The brown eyed people are able to both absorb the energy and the frequencies of Mother Gaia, planet Earth, as well as the sun and solar consciousness. The brown eyed people are inherently... Several people in the United States are posting videos of these mysterious objects, whatever they are, in the sky during the eclipse on April 8th. I'm going to show you guys a video. Look, there's something flying through the air. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Yo, what the fuck? As you can see, what looks like a shadow figure, maybe a humanoid shadow figure crossing the sky in Texas. And then you have this picture taken by a Reddit user with four different objects or whatever these things are crossing the sky. <laughs> this was in <laughs> So we got Buffalo, New York, we got Texas and I believe Mexico and these people are seeing the same thing. Whatever this thing is, it does not look like a UFO. It looks like something with an unnatural movement of some sort, maybe a gin. What the heck is going on here? Several people in the United States are posting videos of these mysterious objects. Four signs you're spiritually gifted. Number one, do you hear ringing in your ears often? This is a sign of spiritual beings wanting to communicate with you. So be very aware of how you're feeling, what thoughts come to your head, what's your current situation when this ringing happens. Number two, do you feel others' emotions in your body? This means you're an empath and you can take on others' energies to interpret them to help heal and guide them. Number three is do you experience a lot of synchronicities? Everything happens for a higher reason. So if you keep seeing angel numbers or other type of synchronicities, be very aware of when you experience them and how you you're experiencing because the spirit realm is trying to communicate with you. Number four will blow your mind. Mental illness. In African and indigenous cultures, mental illness actually signals for a birth of a new healer. If somebody's mentally ill, they actually take them to other healers so they can develop their gifts. But in Western culture, which I'm sure that's where you're in, this is purposely ignored. Mental illness is actually hypersensitivity to the spirit realm. If you're not correctly assisted in developing these gifts, they will become out of control and you will become deranged, therefore actually causing you a mental illness. Do you experience any of these signs? Let me know. Four signs you're spiritually gifted. So everybody's always talking about the law of attraction, which I think has become one of the most popular universal laws, but there's 12 universal laws. And when you apply these laws to your life, you can really get life changing results. I just want to read to y'all what the 12 laws are. And then in other videos, I might go in depth in, on some of them. But number one is the law of divine oneness. Number two is the law of vibration. Number three is the law of correspondence. Number four is the law of attraction. Five, the law of inspired action. Six, the law of perpetual transmission of energy. Number seven, the law of cause and effect. Number eight, the law of compensation. Number nine, the law of relativity. Number 10, the law of polarity. Number 11, the law of rhythm. And finally, number 12, the law of sexual energies. Look these up and just read through whatever you find on Google. Apply these to your life and watch your life transform. So everybody's always talking.
You are not crazy if you think you can pick up on other people's emotions. You would be shocked at the studies of what's actually going on in your body. No one knows about this. Women can smell in a man's sweat mm -hmm. if they're happy, disgusted, if they're under stress through their pheromones. People that are more empathetic actually have more mirror neurons. They're activated the same way when you're performing an action as when you witness someone performing an action. People that want to seem more empathetic will mirror behaviors yeah. because empathetic people naturally are doing that. We're learning that the heart emits a frequency a few feet away and that frequency actually carries emotions with it that other people can pick up on. It's through body language. It's called thin slicing. Part of it is having anxious attachment style which can be from having a parent that you were scared of. You mm -hmm. were highly sensitive to their actions and their emotions. It's really true. It's called emotional contagion actually. Other people's emotions are contagious to you. You are not crazy if you think you can pick up on hey. other people's emotions. You would be you can't, I'm not gonna, you can't pick up on people's energy. Especially if you, um, very in tune with yourself. Yeah. yeah. You can actually photograph the energy leaving your body, called Kurlian photography. A man named Semyon Kurlian back in 1934 in Russia perfected a form of photography where you can photograph mass and you can photograph the energy coming from it. This thing we're living in is a mass of energy. Do you know there's about 11 million kilowatt hours per pound potential energy locked up in the electrons in the atoms of our body? We're just walking dynamos. See, there's an energy flowing to and through us, and you gotta let it flow freely to and through you, and it'll improve everything that it connects with. But you can actually photograph the energy leaving a body called curly. Now, if somebody has ripped your hair out during a fight, that was a spell. That's witchcraft. It doesn't matter if they think of it as witchcraft or not. A lot of people, they don't realize almost everything we do is a spell. It's an intention. It's okay. They casted a spell on you, okay? Sometimes people are trying to uh, dominate you or they're trying to leave their mark on you, like be territorial with you. So they want to be able to say like, I got rid of their hair, right? Sometimes, you know, your enemy will hold on to your hair after they took it out your head. Other times they'll start wearing your hair, which is kind of bad on them to do so. But uh, you're not forever damned. You can just do a spiritual head wash. If all you got is sea salt, take the salt, put it into a Kool-Aid container or a bowl. Do this for nine days in a row. You're going to put it with some hot water, make some hot salt water. And then when let it cool down a little bit, you're going to pour it over yourself in the shower. I'm serious. And pray to the God or the spirits that you believe in nine days in a row. Cleanse yourself. If that's all you got, do that because that. I was in France for 20 years. Wait. I skipped it because... Um... It is some music in there. It sounds like it's copyrighted, so I'm going to skip that. What's going on with this? <laughs> Avoid the infection at all cost. Law 10. Infection. Avoid the unhappy and unlucky. You can die from someone else's misery. Emotional states are as infectious as diseases. You may feel you are helping the drowning man, but you are only precipitating your own disaster. The unfortunate sometimes draw misfortune on themselves. They will also draw it on you. Associate with the happy and fortunate instead. I was in France for 20 years. Wait, what's going on with this? 20 years. Uh, I struggled with anxiety, I struggled with depression, not really knowing what it was um, when I was a kid. I've, I've struggled with PTSD, just seeing the things in the environment that I was growing up in. Uh, so uh, basketball wasn't just a sport that I wanted to be professional in, it was an outlet for my pain. And then ultimately as I got older I learned how to channel that pain into becoming strength and, and to becoming perseverance and having the will of a champion way before the accolades and the gold trophies. You know, uh, becoming a champion of life is waking up with that gratitude in your heart, knowing you got a chance because you took a breath. Uh, I struggle with anxiety. Right. I struggle with depression. Not a lot of people struggle with that, though, especially in today's society. It's just people don't really, you know, talk about it for real. But hey, all going through it, man, for real. You can tell, even an NBA player. Come on, man. You, you don't expect nothing like that, but. Yeah. And not really knowing what it was. 
Here's how X sold his soul for fame and fortune. This is the secret method of the elite for fame and power. Everything you've ever wanted will be at your fingertips if you follow this one rule. I'm going to break it into three easy steps so you can actually digest what I'm telling you. Number three, knowledge is power. Look at all these books that X was yeah, reading was about reading. the occult. These he are principles reading. that these people don't want you knowledgeable of and they all know. If you do this correctly, you will become a superhero version of yourself. Number two, start learning about the universe. Well, we all know why they got X. Yo, he was exposing a lot. Like, in them interviews, if you really go back to, like, I don't know if y'all really dive deep into his interviews, but them interviews will tell you a lot about him. Like, who he really was. Like, take time to really look at his interviews, you understand. He was really a woke person at 20. Dang. That, that dude was intelligent. Can't Energy, lie. frequency, and vibration. Look at this Tesla quote. This is something that X knew intensely. Nobody else knows this. All these occult practices tell you the one rule. Where your attention goes, energy flows. The Indeed. devil wants you feeling weak. The devil wants you feeling like you can't do anything. And really break down energy, frequency, and vibration. Comment energy so you sink it in your brain right now. Type it out. And that is why X especially, because he's a musician, understands this deeply. Energy, frequency, and vibration. That's exactly what music is. Look at the difference between 432 and 440 hertz. Look at the difference. The only thing that you got to do is get your energy right. That's why I use my songs as spells. Not only do these songs have healing frequencies just like X's songs do, they're all about a so you can literally manifest and use these as rituals and spells to program your mind and people don't believe that that's fine most people are npc sheep there's a reason why tesla had this exact quote energy frequency vibration that's exactly what music is it's a here's how x you are repeating your childhood trauma all the time without noticing even when you don't remember the memories and understanding this is key to healing your emotional trauma we live in a mirror reality where our inner world creates our outer world and when i say inner i mean the vibration of your subconscious mind now your subconscious mind was created in the first seven years of your life when you did not have a proper ego to help you logically process reality so you did it with your emotions and if you had a negative experience that imprinted your subconscious mind with a negative vibration because emotions are energy in motion and this means that all of your emotions come from the first seven years of your life and that negative imprint keeps bringing you back to the memory that created it every time you feel the emotion even when you don't remember it you have been living a reflection of your childhood this whole time but this also means that every time you feel a negative emotion you have the ability to reprogram your subconscious mind and heal your emotional trauma which you use my memory regression method to do this method uses your emotion as a way to bring up the core memory that created the vibration and reprogramming it into one with a more positive vibration therefore healing your trauma and reprogramming your subconscious mind at the same time if you're serious about aligning with your highest potential through healing and your true spiritual power i'm hosting a free live quantum expansion class but to save your spot come in quantum 77 you are repeat if you eat honey every day what happens to the body first you'll have well, smooth soft skin just okay. like before because honey is a powerful natural moisturizer that deeply nourishes the skin and makes it more radiant. What's more, you'll get rid of infections and sore throats because honey has antibacterial and antiviral properties that help boost the immune system and protect you from everyday illnesses. But that's not all. If you want to sleep better, honey... That's crazy. Like, somebody is really out here doing his job. <laughs> that is crazy. This universe is like is your best choice just eat a small time. spoonful before bed you it's will so enter random. a peaceful and restful sleep state honey is also a treasure trove of nutrients packed with vitamins minerals and antioxidants that I help keep you healthy stung. and make you feel good if you love sports honey will be your best friend it is rich in natural carbohydrates give you an energy boost before training and help you recover after training follow me to learn more health knowledge and forward this video to your friends. Thank you very much. So have you ever noticed that as soon as you're single, people start to slide into your DMs? Or you could be someone that as soon as you get into a relationship, then all of a sudden people start sliding into your DMs. That's because your energy shifts. So 
either you become single and then you energetically open up to people coming into your experience or you become unavailable and then you feel safe all of a sudden and then people start wanting to come to you because you are more attractive because you're giving off this I'm safe energy. And the truth is you don't even have to like make a post and be like, oh, now I'm single or now I'm in a relationship. It's just that your energy shifts and then people respond to it. Now that's the exact same thing that happens when you learn how to tap into celebrity energy. Our energy can literally be quantified and can be measured by scientists, the same as a light wave, as a heat wave. Our brain waves, our heart waves, our energy waves, they all radiate at a frequency that can be measured. Now, celebrity energy is a really magnetic energy. It's a magnetic energy that draws people to you. And once you learn how to tap into it, that's when opportunities just start coming your way. Today, I was on a call with a client and the first thing I do is I always ask, you know, what are we celebrating today? And he was like, oh my God, I totally forgot. So since we last spoke, I booked a reality television show, a modeling gig. I got reached out to by a producer. I also had all of these new clients come my way. Like things just start to fall into place. And this is why once you learn how to tap into celebrity energy, everything in your life changes because everyone sees you differently. Your entire energy shifts. And so things just start happening in a really quick pace, which creates a quantum. So have you ever noticed that as soon as you're single, people start to slide into here are three neuroscience backed reasons why you need to believe in something before you can see it. Reason number one is the reticular activating system. The RAS is a brain area that filters out all of the sensory information that comes at us and helps us consciously perceive what we think about. A common example of this is deciding that you want to buy a red Jeep and then you start seeing red Jeeps everywhere. Reason number two is that we don't even actually see the world. The cells in our eyes respond to wavelengths of light. And this wavelength information goes through all of these different stations before the image is even put together that we perceive. Our mindset, memories, mood, and beliefs all play a role in the image that's finally put together. And that's not even accounting for the fact that our eyes actually have blind spots and then our brain just guesses and fills in the gaps. And reason number three is a two for one inattentional blindness and confirmation bias. Inattentional blindness is the concept that we don't see things unless we're looking for them. If you haven't seen the gorilla experiment, it'll blow your mind. So leave a comment and I'll share a link. And confirmation bias is the concept that we are always looking for things to confirm the beliefs that we already have. Please do not wait to see it to believe it. Here are three neuroscience backed reasons point. why you need to believe in something. You do got a point on that one. Here are three neuroscience backed reasons why. They got to these celebrities and here's proof. And y'all still wondering why these artists went from looking like this, looking like this. Like, I mean, look at, look at Doja Cat, bro. And now look at her. Big transformation. And then look at, look at Cardi and, and I'm not gonna say his name, Sick Man. And y'all still try to deny and reject what this man was talking about. I'm not gonna say his name because TikTok, you know, they trying to ban me and silence me and all this goofy shit, but... Y'all, y'all, I mean, y'all gotta stop trying to deny this shit, bro. Yeah, everything he was talking about from aliens to giants, yeah, it was interesting, but he literally told y'all why these artists do, like, come out the way they do. I honestly don't know what it's gonna take to convince y'all or when y'all gonna get it. I just guess everybody's not gonna get it. And in the Bible, it says that not everybody is gonna enter heaven. So the faster you realize that we live in a world full of lies, the better off this whole generation is going to be. Was he on to something or were you not going for it? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, he, he definitely wants to something. I agree. I'll tell you why you found it so hard. Ah. I don't know what you're talking about. That water looked crazy. And it's just pink ponds filled with salt. Filled with salt. And this is the end result. This is the salt that we use to eat and to also melt our snow in different parts of the world. For, so, for those mm. of you who don't know, shit's getting weird. Part infinite. Lanier is set to open a massive 418 foot ride this summer. Yeah, it's awesome. It's slated to be the biggest and Georgia's first water slide coaster. We've never seen anything like this. It's called the Apocalypso, and the water slide coaster is being built at Margaritaville at Lanier Islands. The attraction is said to have steep valleys and hills with the largest drop of its kind in the U.S. Three more slides will also lead from the same tower. The new Fins Up water park is set to open May 4th.
Listen. Georgians, chime in. Is this a thing? Because this is how I know about that lake. And y'all want to swim around it? Listen, if you decide to hop in there, don't come back and talk about how, oh, I, I took the slide into the lake and now ghosts are following me. Yon, yon. You're on your own. <laughs> Shit's getting weird. <laughs> Pardon. He is so right. Shit is getting weird. I agree. Oh. It's getting Why does it keep doing that? Shit's getting Five bucks, six bucks. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Ah, look oh, at the shit. car. Baby, what the fuck? Uh, I gotta go yeah. home. Five bucks, six bucks. Oh, Come on, lady, just eat the, the chocolate. She don't want to eat the chocolate, y'all. That's what it is. It's all good. I get it. I know you guys heard about the storm in Houston, but you guys seen how it started? Check this out. Look how dark it gets, y'all. Look, look, look at this. Oh, my goodness. It's like God just turned off the lights, y'all. It's like God literally turned off the lights. And this is what happened. Look at that. Just literally a few seconds later, this is the... It doesn't even, like, come up as dark as it is. Oh, there we go. That's scary. <laughs> so that's really the darkness of it, y'all. Nobody was safe from this. Check this out. Look. So not only Houston was getting bad weather, but Dublin, Texas was also getting Dang. it, y'all. Look at this cow, this poor cow getting pummeled by hell. Now check out these huge buildings, y'all. Look at this. Look at what the hell did to these buildings. N torrential rain, non-stop rain. Look at what the hell did to these buildings, y'all. Look at that. Remember this cloud that was just seen in Texas two days ago? And then all this weather miraculously happened That's in crazy. Texas? Hmm? These cl they're just not abducting cows. Look at this, huh? Look at the cows. They're not just abducting cows. What y'all think this is? And Texas, too crazy things going on around the world because we live in crazy times this new age is calling for some crazy things happening this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only i am only raising awareness to interesting situations during this interesting times but let me know what you guys think about this video like comment and share for more videos like this thank you for tuning to my frequency let's get this shift y'all peace in what would you see if you had no eyes? The short uh, answer is nothing. You wouldn't see anything, not even black or darkness, literally that nothing. That is so but sad. I really send my condolences to people that, that's, you know, got to go through that. Like, that's that. Like, you would never get a chance to really see how beautiful the world really is, you know? That's why you got to really appreciate, like, with, like, being able to see. Just being able to see. Gotta appreciate that for real. Gotta appreciate the little things in life for real. But what does that mean? The ability Being to see to would no longer be possible. So this question is sort of impossible to answer. But there are some analogies we can use that can help wrap our brains around it. One, for example, is like trying to see out of your elbow. Go, do it right now. Can't. Or try looking out of the back of your head. I can't. You, you just can't. Another one is picture what you were seeing before you were born. Not exactly helpful, but I've got a better one for you. Even people that have been blind from birth or born with no eyes can't really fully answer it either. How can you ask them, what do you see, if they have no concept of what the experience of seeing is even like? Some people who lose their vision later on in life do claim to see darkness just because they have first-hand experience of what seeing feels like. Other than sight, we have four other basic senses, touch, hearing, smell, and taste. Now imagine some alien species has a sixth sense called, I don't know, glurking, which they did out of like an antenna or something. That alien and asks you, so what do you even glurk if you don't have an antenna? You can't answer that question because you don't even know what the sensation of glurking feels like. This entire question is a mind game similar to trying to visualize infinity. The best way to try to simulate it yourself is to close just one eye and look away from the closed eye. You don't really fully see darkness until you close both eyes, so while doing this, try to focus on what the closed eye is seeing. Your open eye is hogging all of your brain's seeing processing power and your closed eye just kind of doesn't see at all. I mean, if you're stubborn and try really hard, you might be able to convince yourself that your closed eye is actually seeing darkness, but this is really the best we can do if you want to know
What would you see if you had no uh, eyes? The short oh, answer is man. nothing. That is really, that's really, really sad. Do we have a sun simulator? Check out these videos. Not only do we have these sunflowers turning their backs on the sun, we also have cows that are afraid of the sun hiding out in the shade when it's not even hot out. Hey, but weißt du, was mir aufgefallen ist? Die, die gehen nicht der Sonne weg. Alle, wohin gucken die denn? Da ist doch die Sonne. Sehr komisch. Here's my sunflowers starting off. And why do they keep turning away from the sun? Hence the word sunflower. Well, you see it facing off to the northwest right now. Well, over here's the sun. Hence the word sunflower. You know, I've been living here a minute. There's probably eight or ten cows clustered. I thought it was weird the other day, but like I mean it's not even hot here yet. It's not even hot. Look at them all. Might be hot to them. Shoot. That's some weird as fuck behavior. Do we have a sun mm -hmm. simulator? Check out. You gotta turn that way this is funny. I gotta play this. This is funny. Oh. One in for dad. Ready? Yes, you're gonna put my uh, thing That's on. That's on. Ready? Ooh, that's it. Good job. Oh, Man, that thing hurt a little bit, huh? Yeah. Ooh. That was Man. <laughs> Big Cody knocked him down. Oh man, this was it's stingle. He's a clown, man. I didn't advance there. She didn't even know what I'm doing. Oh, no, I because daddy not bleeding. I know. So you did a good job. All right, Dad. Other arm. Come on. Look on. Look at the last one. Last one. Look at mama. Don't look, don't look, Cody. Come on, Not like me, you gotta be like me. That's one. Good girl. Yeah. That's one. Good girl. Big smile. Ooh. Oh, bow, bow, chicka, bow, bow. Good job. <laughs> Ooh, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta go like this, man. She did good. Ooh. Good job. Big Cody. Good job. Good job. Big Cody knock him down. Come <laughs> on, right, don't be dead, man. That's what's up. No one I've showed this video to can explain it. Somebody please, please explain this to me. Are they in the sand or are they in the water? This, this makes no sense at all. If you have any idea of what's going on, let me know in the comments. It looks like they're in the sun running into the water. Okay, it looks like a pothole. But when they drive <laughs> over it, nobody hits a bump. Imagine seeing that during a hurricane or tornado. Her hair is just st magically stuck to the wall. Uh, Melanated people, come here. We need to have a talk. As a collective, we're literally at the bottom of the barrel for annual income, which is $51,000 a year. If you divide that by 12, that's approximately four bands a month. Now let me show y'all something. See, now I want y'all to watch this. The black divorce rate is among the highest of all races, which is 38%. Hispanic divorce rate is the second highest. Asian divorce rate is among the lowest at 12%. Now, when you look at them numbers and then you look at this chart, it starts to make sense. Now, the Asians got the lowest divorce rate, right? Now, look where they at in annual income. They said black people got the lowest. Boy, look where we at. They said Hispanics got the second lowest. Look where they at. Now that household income and the divorce rates that add up, don't it? That alone should end the gender war between black men and black women. Because when it come down to paperwork game, we all going outside. Y'all let me know in the comments though, what y'all think about African Americans having the lowest income household in America? What we gonna do to change that? Uh, melanated people, come here. We need to have a talk. 
This is a real photo of the face peeler who lives in the woods in Peru. These creatures are seven feet tall and they don't walk, they float around the woods. Very recently, a little- Eminem's under the microscope. I want to see this. Why you put water on it though? Yes, sir. I don't look that bad. <laughs> it don't look that bad. The only thing that be looking bad is uh, like meat and stuff. It's not that bad. So apparently there is a myopia epidemic going on around the world, y'all. And it's mainly affecting Gen Z. Yes, y'all, Gen Z is literally going blind. And I'm talking about retinal detachment and all that type of stuff. And they're saying that technology is to blame. Check this out. Gen Z is going blind. This is not an exaggeration. Optometrists across the country are complaining about a myopic epidemic where the use of devices is causing the form of the eye in young people to completely change, leading to little micro holes and eventually blindness. Why? Because when you're under 18, the eye isn't fully developed and the actual physical structure will change and you'll become myopic, leading to structural damage. Perhaps this is one of the reasons why Steve Jobs didn't let his children even have an iPad. He knew how addicted wow. they were and the damage that they caused. I can't see. Everything is blurry. I've had children tell me this on a nearly daily basis in the office, and it's difficult to hear every time. Wow. Usually, the kids are 8 to 10 years old, and the parents bring them in because they're having trouble seeing at school or at home. I do their eye exam, and I see that they're beginning to develop myopia or nearsightedness. It's not too bad at first. Maybe a prescription of minus 1 or minus 1 and a half, but then I see them 6 months or a year later, and it goes up. Maybe an additional 0.5 or 1 increase in their prescription, but then fast forward 5, 10 years down the line, and sure enough, these kids have gone from a minus one when they were eight years old all the way to a minus five, minus seven, minus ten, or even minus twelve prescription by the time they're wow. in college. And at that point, they can barely even make out their own hand in front of their face unless they wear thick glasses or contact lenses. And the That's unfortunate crazy. part is, beyond the inconvenience of glasses and contact lenses, having high myopia skyrockets the risk of developing blinding eye complications. A recent study showed that patients with high myopia have an 845 times increase in the odds of developing macular degeneration, a 12.62 times increase in the odds of developing a retinal detachment, a 4.55 times increased risk of posterior subcapsular cataracts, and a 2.92 times increase in the risk of glaucoma. And I gotta say, my experience as an ophthalmologist backs up the findings from these studies. I'm noticing an alarming increase in the number of patients, maybe in their 30s or 40s, with high myopia coming in with retinal tears and detachments. And unfortunately, these people need emergency surgery just to try to salvage their sight. But depending on the severity of the problem, these patients who otherwise have no other medical conditions besides being nearsighted are going permanently blind in their 30s or 40s. I mean, are you surprised? Parents no, aren't even no. raising their kids anymore. They're letting strangers raise their children. They're letting iPads raise their children. True. What happened to stranger danger? Very like true. you don't even know that person on the iPad. Just because you see a couple of their episodes, you have no idea what that person does. Literally sending true. your child to an indoctrination station. They spend eight hours a day there. They spend more time there than at home with you. Because even after school, they have after school programs to indoctrinate them furthermore. Y'all see what I'm saying? Y'all letting strangers raise your children. And then people wonder why little Billy acts up when he goes home because you don't even know what little Billy wants. So yeah, step away from the iPad, y'all, and go out there in nature. Nature is so much more beautiful. Let me know what you guys think about this video. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning in my frequency. Let's get this shift. Peace out. So apparently there is a... We really don't know like what this technology have effect on us, but it... Man. Can't yeah, see it, but it's definitely some stuff happening. That's crazy. They're not even getting a chance to even, you know, grow for real. Wow. Y'all, Bill Gates is working overtime. Look at this. Straight mm -hmm. up GMO.
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. How is this being sold? I don't this feel this food is literally upset. Alive in people. Messing up people's genetics. Like what? Come on. That is wild. That's insane. I ain't gonna cap y'all. By 2040, I want to say just about all the food and fruits is gonna be GMO. Yeah. They try and make everything GMO. They can't even, no like, keep doing stuff. this to us, though. That's Sign my stuff. Fake, moon fake, food fake, people fake. <laughs> everything fake. fake. Politicians <laughs> fake. Everything fake. Everything gonna be fake. Yeah. This is ridiculous. That's crazy. It's honestly really sad to see that this is what's happening to our food. No more natural stuff, y'all. This is it. It's gonna continue to get worse. No more natural foods. Ain't shit gonna be natural. This is beyond me. Insane. Completely insane. Look at that. Hell no. Hell no. Y'all. Uh, I don't know where she got that wallet from, but definitely don't buy nothing from wherever she bought it from. That's crazy. Mm. We're living in a stimulation. Look at this. Get out of the way. That's crazy how that sky is cracking like that. Watch and tell Real or real? That is some kind of an artificial uh, background, an artificial sky, uh, yellow. Looks like wires, maybe? Yeah, that's trippy. That's trippy. Hold up. Hold up let me get trippy. another angle. Gotta see this. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody. Somebody help me understand that. Somebody help me understand what the heck that is. Look at us. Oh, oh, oh. No, that, that's, that's the sky. Big time. Big time, baby. Big time. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Get out of the way. Look at this. Wow. Thanks for watching. This. Wow. Alright, y'all. That is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm sending peace, abundance, prosperity, and good every way. Please be sure to take care of yourself. And if the weather is nice, please get outside and get some of that sunlight. Alright? Why not? But with all that being said, I will be seeing you guys in the next episode. Peace.